Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chick get her. But he just gets tailed. What is going on, y'all? Today we're doing something pretty fun, heading out on the river, spending the whole day out there, and then we're actually looking for an island to do some sandbar camping and possibly some catfishing well we're gonna be catfishing but we'll see if we can get into some been scoping it out on uh, some areas for some holes behind wing dams with some good sandbar camping so I'm heading out there right now during the day we're gonna be looking for some smallmouth panfish because we're planning on doing a little bit of catch and cook tonight over the fire it's a high of 80 I believe today and overnight it's supposed to get down to 70 um, high 60s so that's gonna be perfect camping weather anyways Let's get to the landing, launch a boat, see what we can do today into the night. It's gonna be a good one. Let's go. See you tomorrow, old girl. All right, y'all. Here's where I believe home sweet home is going to be. See if I can show you guys real quick. So we got a little wing dam coming out straight from the sandbar and there's a little cut that comes out onto the main channel and then sucks in a little bit. So there's a deep hole right on the shore bank here. And then it's like 14, 15 foot along the shoreline here. But we got like 18 in this little cut. And it is gonna be uh, hopefully pretty good to kind of suck in some kitty cats at night. We're gonna bank up here see how the top looks because we got a little incline up top see how it's looking up there but as you can see getting closer to shore that's 17 18 foot and we're right here let's go all right just gonna kind of walk the shoreline see what we got for firewood looks like we got a bunch up here looks like you can tell just by the sand here there's still a little, little drop off we can keep rocking cat rods oh yeah that's good firewood there so i'm going to set up the tent kind of keep it as like a blocker for people driving by to know that it's hopefully taken and we don't got anybody screwing with it then we're going to go out and start catching some fish family's coming out in a little bit gonna hang out on the beach should be good okay damn Whew, she's warm already and it's a little tiring coming up that beast. Welcome to my humble abode. Still needs to get set up, but I'm gonna do that later. 
picking up the fam in a little bit for a couple hours and they're gonna come hang out. Meantime, I'm gonna go catch some fish. Try to catch some fish. Also try to get some bluegills to use for catfish, catfishing later. There's a bass tournament going on right now. So as you can see, they're cruising all over the place. But we'll see what we can do. There's a fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Damn near second cast. Little smallmouth. Little smallmouth. Chilling in this little current right here. Later, dude. Hit on the little homemade black marabou jig. I didn't make the jig, but I tied the marabou on it so I can call it homemade, right? Here we go. Perfect bait. Nice fish. Not a bad smallie at all. Goodness gracious, dude. Just catching fish. This black marabou, I tell you what. Gotta go with the bull. Here, bud, let me help you out. There you go. Little smallie. Another smolly back in the drink. Gilly. Well, the old black marabou jig's doing pretty good on these little smallies. That one wasn't too bad. Good action. I mean, it looks awesome in the water. All right, well, we got some smallies, some smaller ones. We got some gillies in the live well. We got some keepers as well as some bait ones. Now I'm just gonna try and fun fish until the fam comes out. Oh. What do you got? I was thinking it was bigger with the gilly rod. Oh, it got hooked bad, gotcha. That's so smally. Small, yeah. Oh, it just choked it too. Right, oh, oh. <laughs> come on, scream it off. Yeah, All right, got a little dinner for tonight, a little yeah. channel cat. All right, little evening update. We got our kitty cat rods out. We got two right now. We're catching some bait on this wing dam that's out in front of our campsite here. Boat traffic starting to slow down a little bit. There was a tournament today. So it's starting to cool down a little bit on the waves and temperature is about to cool down a little bit. We got some gillies in here. We got a little channel cat to eat up. Cody's excited about that. Got the fam out here. We're gonna take them back in a little bit. And then it's gonna be me and Cody just hammering down tonight. Bonfire cooking over the fire with some fried fish maybe a little fish sandwiches maybe a couple beers we'll see what we get into
That'd probably be good, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, Cody, that's, that's a fish. Oh. Looks like it's kind of pulling out a little bit there. But yeah, you might be right where it's just current. Ooh. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I need to buy something that has a nice downspout. I mean, a nice we get those, we get nozzle. Like a gallon and a half, like. All right, we got all of our fish here. We just scaled them, and then we got one catfish. We're gonna toss them in a flour and um, baking powder mix, or a little bit of baking powder, lots of flour first, and then we're gonna go into a, or make a beer batter. Okay, and we're gonna add a little shore launch, Cajun style, into our bag with flour. I do like a 50 50 mix, that's what I usually do. Anyways, got some bush latte and slowly mix it around. Okay, we got a good consistency that we like, and we are going to cook the catfish first, dip them in. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. How'd they turn out mint? Yeah. What's she rate? Not bad. Not bad for cafe, man. No, not at all. What? They're coming out in full force now. No, I shouldn't have said something. Oh. I sprayed my arms and stuff. I ain't getting bit yet. So we kept hearing a bell go off, and this owl's sitting on Cody's tip of the rod. <laughs> my goodness I've never seen that before Let's see how close we can get here oh there he is I'm gonna check out our rods again <laughs> I mean what 
I mean, what, dude? Oh, sure. <laughs> What's up, dude? Good morning. No bells last night. Me and Cody stayed up until 2, hoping that we'd get a big cat rolling in in the middle of the night, but just didn't happen. But it was a beautiful night to tent out. It got down to like 60 degrees. It was perfect. So we're going to soak the rods again this morning, make a little breakfast. It's going to be another beautiful day. We'll see how long we stay out here, but got some breakfast coming and some hot coffee yeah yeah start out with a little bit maybe buddy has a or my buddy's grandparents says they've had a cast iron for 50 years they've never washed it they did they just heat it up like that and wipe it down, kind of like a grill almost, yeah. I suppose. They claim that's what you're supposed to do, is just wipe her down. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you crack them? Mm, I don't know. Yep. Did it? See the one on the end there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a couple of them. Yeah. I'm trying to pack up the tent, I'm like, oh, man. I tried. Make myself a little. Sammy, that's what I was thinking too, actually. All right, a little venison, bacon, eggs, cheese sandwich to kick off a Sunday morning. Yep, breakfast champions right there. <laughs> Yeah, not bad at all, really. As far as what? Clean up. No, that was actually... No. Tent was the worst part. What's that? Tent was the worst part. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready. Alright y'all, that is gonna do it for today. Did not catch the big catfish that we were hoping for. We put in our work, stayed up till two in the morning. And uh, yeah, it just didn't pay off like we were hoping. Still a great time out there, camping on the, on the island and a little bit of a, a messy way to go with all the sand everywhere, but it all, uh, it all worked out. Good weather, good food. Still caught some smallies and some gills. Fishing is fishing. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching y'all. We'll see you next time. Hit it.